Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's episode. What the heck is up, ploggers? We're in a parking garage. That's right. No way. No. I, we were going to record until I found a spot. Did I just find a spot, or is this person backing up to get it? Do you think I should just be I dick? think this person is waiting to get it. And if you if you dick. take this spot right now, you're going to be lambasted on the internet for being the uh, biggest asshole that I've ever met, actually. Yeah, no, that's their spot. We can't get it. Guys, we're, uh, we're at the Americana. We are on our way to crash, eat... The menu. That's right. I mean, the mall means a lot to me as a sort of identity, yeah. and I'm excited to kind of dip my toe in. Also, yeah. by the way, I love this mall. Oh, yeah. This is the mall of all malls. The Americana? It's an indoor mall, outdoor mall, every single store available, and it has a great vibe. <laughs> Rainy's, on. Rainy's a brand ambassador for the Americana. I wish. Indoor mall, outdoor mall, and everything is available when you want it. Blah, blah, blah. This person's brave, by the way. They just fucking parked wherever the hell they this wanted. This is a made-up spot. That's crazy. That's not this even a spot. Literally I can't bro, believe you're nice. they did that. I just, you know, before we even get into this episode, yeah. I just want y'all to know, because, look, I know there was a lot of concern. My, you know, Mr. Miles B out That's here right. on the interwebs making this big stink, oh. saying, look at me, look at me, I'm Zach doing my own thing me. Now. Zach shoved me, I was I saying. Zeremelays mm-hmm. will never die. That's damn right. <laughs> Zeremelays is grave. back, and if we're Stronger not getting a, than ever. if we're not getting a little snack by the end, mm-hmm. I'm gonna crash Zach's car. Oh my! Oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do need to find a spot, though. We so. do, honestly. And can I say this, Zach? Yeah. People frown upon this. Why? But I think you should park on the roof. On the oh. roof. See, I feel like people are like, oh, I don't want to park on the roof. That's literally for dorks and losers. It feels like you've lost. No, I know, but sometimes <laughs> just deciding that you're going to park on the roof as a rule is like, oh, today I'm parking on the roof. So, like, I'm foregoing the stress. We're going on the roof. But it says exit. The roof. The, the roof. the roof. The roof is on, on fire. Left. <laughs> I'll also say, Zach, really recently I've been getting into the idea of when I go to the airport. Oh. Guess what I'm doing? Ubering. Are you driving yourself? I'm parking at the airport wow. with my own goddamn car. I think that is Dude, a pro move. It's I'm saving money. Spot, spot, spot. I know, but spot. at this point, if you don't park on the roof, are the people really going to be happy? Are you? Sir, you're going to make me narratively. I think it's more satisfying <laughs> if we park on the roof, and we're going to be able to overlook the mall. See, like, oh, we oh got he's not even horizon. parking. Oh, he's just this sh- person literally went back into the spot because they said, you know what, Zach, you're right. Fuck you, pig. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on the roof. By the way, I also in, in high school, that was kind of my move. The roof? The I'd roof. be like, hey, you know where we should go to freaking kiss oh, in my yeah. car? To the parking garage you roof. You can see all at of the downtown we- Burbank from here. Shout out to North Carolinians who are living near the Weaver Street in Hillsboro. Because that freaking parking garage roof is where I was max salading. Okay, t- oh, we're par- there's so many parking spots now. No, but at this point, we're going to the roof. At this point, we're going to the roof. Okay, well, basically, so I went. It was 100 bones to park there over the weekend. And I know what you're thinking, Miles. That's a lot of money, and I know that it is. But if I was to Uber there, I checked on the way and on the way back. It was seventy-five dollars to Uber there, and then it was fucking eighty dollars to Uber back. Wow! And it was gonna take me fucking forever in traffic. I'm in the back seat. I'm throwing up from the car sickness. There we go. Wow! See, look how spacious it is on the fucking roof. Wow! You yeah, know and what a I beautiful do on the view. Roof? Don't do a donut. We... Don't do a donut. I wasn't gonna do a donut. Zach's literally gonna do donuts on the roof. Podcast where we did donuts. This is wow. Podcast from the roof. Look at this beautiful view. Wow, it's so smoggy. It's kind of so, it's so smoggy. <laughs> it's unbelievable, but, the so lack of visibility. Essentially, not only did I get to drive myself, something I enjoy doing, um, mm-hmm. and holy shit. What happened to this There's car? a car that is so fucked wow. up on the roof. It's almost like I'm an art installation. I'm sad for that car. I don't. Wait, it looks like an art installation. You think it was intentional? Yeah. It's like kind of bashed to pieces, but then also has this paint job. It looks intentional. And then there looks like there's like Legos. Why would they park it on the roof? <laughs> well, they maybe they just know, it. know what you're juicing. Anyway, so I saved. Yeah, like no, 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 please, God d- forbid you don't finish the story. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right, people. I saved money by driving myself to the airport. It's sort of a throwback idea. I've got a big idea for both of you that I can't employ yet. Let's hear it, Rainy. So you guys are both married? Yeah. So you do a high school date yeah. ending on the roof. 
It's okay. I do like where you're going. Zach is <laughs> Zach literally is doing, doing a donut. donut. I'm doing really slow Woo-hoo! donut. Zach has taken away in handcuffs. I've never done a donut before. By the way, there's a car that's literally There's literally away. nothing <laughs> illegal about what I'm doing. <laughs> Zach, well, by the way, it's not in dangerous nor illegal nor impressive because you're going so slow. I'm doing... Oh, my God. I'm this is up. fun. I'm literally... I'm, I'm doing 12 sick. kilometer li- per hour I donut. I literally am getting cars. Are you actually? Okay, so you know what? I have to look at the horizon. Are you actually I, getting cars? Look, look at one point on the horizon. <laughs> The great thing I about the, one point on the horizon. The great thing about one the point. Prius is the turning uh, radius. One point on the horizon. Wait, tell me, are you? A, is this a bit, or are you actually getting car sick? Part of me feels like I'm getting a little car sick, but I feel like <laughs> if I look at the at the parking thing, and I just you're supposed to fix it on one point. It's like if I if I accidentally let go of my wheel, my car's you're toast. To- toast. But I'll luckily, we have it recorded on the plug. Okay, now I'm wondering a little bit faster now. It's. <laughs> No, we're at 13 kilometers per hour. This is crazy. 11. We're literally doing donuts in the fucking parking lot. Do you think anyone is... (laughs) Do you think anyone is watching this and is is concerned about this reckless behavior? This woman's calling the police. She's saying there's hoodlums. There's hoodlums in a a Prius C. Rainy, just to be clear, you are having a good time? Yes, I'm getting a... I would say let's do just... Maybe one more. One more, <laughs> one more rotation. And up. There we go. Now really we got to balance it okay, out. yeah. That was interesting. See, okay, see the notes. So somebody went... We, we got to balance it out. We got to even out the car sickness. <laughs> Zach's doing one more donut. You can see that someone in this same spot did Has, way... People have done donuts, which People did way really, bigger donuts, which is so I dumb. I think going way faster. Ooh, oh, his tummy feels weird. By the way, yeah, yeah. I just had a... I, I, like, I, I, like, I'm really... It's sort of like we were on a, a boat. Yeah, why don't you just park anywhere? There's a million which, fucking spots. I know, why do you have to go hard, to the roof, Zach? Well, it's hard to know which spot is best. But I actually, this is a piece of advice that I think people are going to need, and yeah. it's that you should park on the goddamn roof. I mean, I could park like, the in only four issue. spots at once. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, Miles, here's what I want to hear your thoughts on the go. sun heating up. Your car? Yeah. I, I have a sun shield. Suns are oh. good. You put up a sun shield? God, yeah. that is so dorky. It's so dorky. <laughs> God, that's dorky. <laughs> it's really dorky. And oh, my little sun shield. <laughs> Yeah, I I agree. Because you're gonna get too what toasty when you get in the car. Or do you have a sun shield? It's no. you know what? It's, I don't it's, have time for that. Yeah, I don't even I have time to respond to my messages. There's no way I'm taking an extra five. Okay, I want to be clear. Yeah. I want to be clear. Yeah. My beautiful, loving partner right, got the sun shield. And you want to make sure and you're abiding you're by her. Throwing her under the bus right now, Zach. Maggie is slandered by Zach. And by the way, Zach's the one that's gonna be canceled for it. Yeah. Oh, the sun shield wasn't oh, my sorry, idea. Oh, it was, sorry, it wasn't. It you're... wasn't. I didn't come <laughs> up with it. Do you... Maggie made me. I don't. Maggie made me do the sun shield. <laughs> I know. Do you it's think that I am t- together enough to get a fucking sun shield? No, you can barely put your fucking ass forward. <laughs> but. <laughs> But by the way, the sun shield, what's the purpose? I don't want my car to be stained by the sun, or I don't want the hotness to get so hot that when I sit in the car, it's going to be hot. I think it's because like you get in the car and the steering wheel is like hot to the touch. By the way, I, I used to, when I was a kid, my parents would drive a Volvo station wagon, Ooh. one of my favorites, With leather leather interior. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So I would get into that car and Ashby truly my, my legs would burn. Okay, how about this? I'm curious your thoughts on this. Yeah. Uh, MJ in our office yeah. said the other day, she was looking into getting driving gloves, UV protection. I think that that is more uh, about the fashion. Of no, it. no. She She's was getting, a very uh, careful sun girl. Sun girl. She's a careful sun girl. And I, because like, like, look right now. My hand is on the steering wheel, mm-hmm. ro- baking in the sun. Yeah. Do you know what shows the age? Your the hands. hands. I got to tell yeah. you, man. I think. You're supposed to put sunscreen on your hands. I think that. I I would like my hands to be weathered because it means I've lived a life mm. worth living. Well, your energy is definitely a weathered hands vibe, but mine isn't. Thank you, Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way. Me and Rainy, our vibe is, is soft hands. I've never been outside. <laughs> <laughs> Rainy yeah. is such an outdoors person. Yeah, I am. I Actually, the when I got my astrology read, and yeah. I've cited this before, she was like, the outside is your religion. And I was like, that's true. No, I think that is true. You can catch yeah. Rainy in a waterfall. Oh, yeah. Catch me in a waterfall. Catch me in a mountain. Oh, man. Catch you, me a hike. I do miss that about the south where I feel like yeah. I was always in a pond, always in a river, oh, yeah. enjoying the sort of scummy water, dipping mm. my hand in a muddy pool. Oh, yeah. Rainy, were you with us yesterday? Are you on this astrology app that everyone in our office is on? I am, but it is AI generated. Oh! Wait, what do you yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? You, do? What is do you, mean? you know, and you know who's the detective and Natty Plug? Matt McLean was like, this sounds like AI. Mm. And then he looked it up. And he was like, it's AI. And then I lost all faith in it. That is crushing. Well, did, well, did you think it was going to be bespoke? <laughs> 
<laughs> like I thought they. Had, oh, you mean you I thought, thought somebody had, was writing it every day? Literally, I thought they had astrologists. I thought there was an office with a bunch of astrologists. Well, now I don't want to plug. I don't want to plug the app, but I'll tell you about it because yeah. it was cool. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. that Desiree was saying? Not only does it tell me my mm -hmm. astrology for the day, yeah. my horoscope, if yeah, you yeah, will, yeah. is that it tells me my friend's horoscope. Mm -hmm. So let's say the three of us had it. Oh It'd yeah, be like, I've used this before. I think. But it would be like, hey Zach, you and Miles today, butting heads. You're, Whoa! No, you're gonna you're gonna pound it. Oh, you're sorry. gonna have to get along great. I'm gonna pound. It? You're gonna, we're gonna pound. I guess I don't work for the company anymore. Um, but the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. Um, what's the app called? Fuck if I know. Okay, so well, here's what you know that reminds me of. Hmm. Um, Natty plugged to a video I watched several minutes of, not the whole thing. Danny Gonzalez just made a video called "I Made a Fake I I," and the video was he, he made this app that went on the app store. And it was called Chat DNE. And the idea was that it's made to look like it's a chat GPT, but when people ask you questions, it's just him answering yeah, them. Yeah, was it good? I saw that thumbnail. I really to watch funny it. premise. And I watched like a little bit of it and I really liked it. And I was just like, that is such a funny, like to have it actually yeah. be a human person is really weird mm -hmm. in a way, too. Cause it's just like some guy on the other end writing out his idea of what your astrological shit is gonna be. By yeah. the way, kind of right funny. there, such like so indicative of one of the main challenges of YouTube-based entertainment. Yeah. You're like, love this guy, loved the video, super interesting, watched a couple minutes. Well, I, I know. <laughs> it, it's, I, honestly, and I watched not, it. It's not his fault. You're it's just, right, no, it's not. It's just like right before I left for um, for this, I was like, oh, I'm, let me watch just a little bit of this. Oh, I don't have time to watch the... Also, sometimes, like, with the video, is 18 minutes long, and I was kind of like, I'm God, sure that this is great. And God forbid. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are going to watch the whole thing, but I was like, 18 minutes for me... Is a lot. Mm -hmm. and depending That's a TV on, show. If I was going to watch it on the TV, and I don't really browse YouTube on my TV, but I think that that is maybe like what the intention is. I don't know. Mm. 18 minutes is a long time for me to stare at my computer screen, which it shouldn't be because I'll play a video game for fucking, you know, two hours. And you know, I still haven't beat Zelda. Oh, oh you should. I'm, I'm working on really it. Lovely. Well, speaking of minutes, yeah. we got to go to the cheese. We're late, bitch. We'll see you at the Cheese Gang Factory. Mwah. What the heck is up? We're here at the factory of That's cakes right. of cheese. I no, Zach, love cheesecake, by the way. I gotta be honest, Zach, I think we sat maybe in this booth for the birthday episode. Uh, it was a couple over. It was a couple over. Uh, and I wow. know that because uh, our camera crew was set, situated right over there. But where Keith is currently filming Eat the Menu is yeah. where Jonathan and Jack were posted whilst oh. uh, oh. we were singing Happy Birthday to me. That's right. I, I do remember that. I mean, Cheesecake Factory really means a lot to all of us. Oh, yeah. I mean, it sort of is the place of your engagement. That's no. right. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Zach engaged yeah. me here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I will say we have, uh, not to overhype and over tease, but we do have what was going to be a single episode can competition now fully ideated into a full season. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, I don't know when it'll be able to happen because it takes- 2029. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's- <laughs> I think something that needs to be really built up to. We're we're awaiting a callback from Soderbergh. Oh my god, to have Soderbergh direct Candid. Oh. It would be really funny to have like a really weird auteur director direct an episode of Candid Competition. Greta Gerwig. Timothy Chalamet's debut as a director. As a director. <laughs> I actually think he would be not Tim bad. Tim I heard I that like... you're not busy right now. What do we think about him <laughs> and Ken Kylie? I actually really support it. It's gi what? it's giving. Are you, you don't support? I think that it's fake. Oh, no, it's definitely not it's fake. Not, right. They're making out fake? at Taylor Swift. You think it's fake? First of all, it was at Beyonce. <laughs> Excuse Second me. of all, also at the U.S. <laughs> Open. Yeah, they're making out. It's real. It's I giving like it's like high school theater kid and popular girl, but it's after after high school. And, like, Timothy Chalamet is like, actually, like, I'm just kind of vibing. And Kylie Jenner's like, wait, where's this artistic integrity that I'm searching for? And she's getting it from Tim O'Tay. I think that... He, yeah, he's on strike. Do you need a Can seat, Rainy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll stay. I, I want, Rainy was like kind of like kneeling on the ground and, and her of... knees were hurting, I could yeah. tell. So we're about to crash eat the menu. Yeah. Yeah. And Rainy was like, wait a second, is our sound going to be used in the video? And yeah. I was like, yeah. And she like, I could see the wave of anxiety. That's right. And like, of like, if I fuck up this sound, then mm -hmm. I fuck up the video sound <laughs> as if we don't always <laughs> rely on this sound. That's a really good point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The stakes are no different. The audio for this you doesn't do even matter. every time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The audio exactly. for this, who cares? The audio for the main Shan? <laughs> the main Ooh. Shan. That's what we need. Feels like yeah. a ball. Like every time it's like, okay, it's a regular school. Yeah. And now we're going to the prom. Which is funny because it's like, yeah, what we do, 
Like, we release three episodes every week. They get a certain amount of views. Like, what's up? Stand by. Now, I'm noticing that there's a bunch of Starbucks Gouda sandwiches, which we did not actually order, but they were here on set. A Gouda? Yeah, that's arrived. for the crew. And I would say the... What are we if not crew? We're, I mean, here's a good question for you, and yeah. it's that when I arrived at the office today, I had a piping cold bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mm, now, I'm no longer laundering. a full-time employee. Yeah. You do so, kind of influence me. Every time you eat cereal like that, I'm like, sh- you are making it look like a delight. It's because I'm not having cereal at home, to, uh, uh, in the least. I'm not yeah. having cereal at home. So it's but a genuine love. When I come into the office and I think this is on the company for the company as a freelancer Mm -hmm. that's the cereal that i'm gonna want would you what do we consider you are you a freelancer are you a talent for hire (laughs) gun for hire i'm a mercenary i kind of like that i just want to be clear that for legal purposes and whatever bullshit you do in your in your other life (laughs) that you are not on payroll no i'm definitely not on payroll i don't control you you don't control me i'm a 1099 employee i'm a wild card Oh, yeah. Okay. You're no different than any of these people out there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know what that is. (laughs) No difference than these sheeple out there. Rainy, you were saying say something salacious. I want want to hear your best salacious thing now that you're free. Oh, that's interesting. (laughs) Now that you've escaped. Let me tell you. Now that that you say something a little more salacious. Everyone is under lock and key. I want you to imagine traveling to a new country and you can speak and say hello to someone in their language. Rosetta Stone, they are the most trusted language learning program. It's available on a desktop or as an app and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. I've been watching some Spanish language shows and I want to get better at not having to read subtitles. Uh, So I'm getting close where I can actually just watch the show and enjoy. Rosetta Stone has been the trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered. This is fast language acquisition, okay? The coolest thing is they have a speech recognition uh, with their true accent feature. It is super convenient. You can have a desktop and an app option. It's an amazing value. Lifetime membership has all 25 languages. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 40% off. That's $179 for unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Life. Redeem your 40% off at rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. Maybe like a secret if you've ever stolen from Whole Foods. Oh, stolen from Whole Foods? Well, so I used to, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. um, sunglasses from Walmart, exclusively something that you walk out with for free. That's Gratis on the company. <laughs> That's Gratis. That is on the company in a lot of ways. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they are rolling. So, so we're here on so, set yeah. at uh, Eat the Menu Cheesecake <laughs> right. Factory. Nick Welka just yelled rolling. Three part series that they're doing? Three? Three yeah. parts. It's a magnum it's a, opus. It's a, it's, a, it's a menu so big that we couldn't fit it into one episode. I thought it was two. It's three. It's three, bro. Oh, and that we're not, I mean, huge. at that point, we're not overhyping. We're not over milking. We are giving the people what they deserve, and it's cheesecake. It is. Oh, yeah. uh, some would say we're milking it. We're say we're cheesecaking it. <laughs> we're cheesing it. No, it literally is such a no, massive huge. menu no. that it like Keith did part one yeah. and was more wrecked than most eat yeah. the menus. That's crazy. Because it's big and it's also heavy. The cuisine amount is quite. Um, it's sort of worldly. There's uh, a crab rangoon. Yeah, he got. He loved the crab rangoon. <laughs> I love a crab rangoon. He got rangoon. here at eight in the morning and started eating. Oh my god! Um, right now he's eating chicken marsala, which is a heavy Ooh. dish for. Okay, a, it's eleven thirty-four. That's 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 okay. That's not too bad. But a little bit heavy to be your eighteenth dish. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I mean, I'm hoping that we get some lunch in because we're recording another podcast after this. Yeah, we're back to back. So um, we had better hope that I'm filling up on shrimp linguine or a crab rangoon. What? I hate to bring it yeah. up twice. I don't even know what, what series we're in, like what which is- part of the menu. Like, are yeah. we doing entrees? Are we doing dessert? Well, I know that our segment got moved. We were supposed yeah, to do it earlier. We're kind of, um, we're adrift. We're without a home. Um, we are... Nomad. Je ne sais... I mean, here's a question for you, Zach. Mm -hmm. Have you been, speaking of cheesecake, speaking speaking of food, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's the fuel that fuels us. Literally. Have you been using, (laughs) it's literally the fuel fuel that fuels us. Have you ever, have you been using the Dovin recently? Oh, yeah, Zach. The Dovin, (laughs) I would say I've been doing, oh, 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 great. Okay. We are getting the green light to uh, uh, crash, eat the menu. And we'll check back in with the Dovin. Yeah, yeah, that's a TB okay, so we're going continued. to crash the menu now. We've, get, we've been given the summons that we need to go to. Okay, okay here we so go. So how are we going to do this? 
We don't really know. All right, so I think I should sit on the other side of Keith. And I'll sit on the other, other side of okay, Keith. Okay, that's good. All right, so okay. let's just kind of... Here we <laughs> go. Hey, Keith. Hi, um, Keith. We decided that we wanted to be your guest today. So we're kind of, we're going to just sort of maneuver the cables just a little bit. Welcome, yeah. everyone, to the Triplog, Mr. Keith Habersberger. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, thank Doing you so much. Thank now. you so much for joining us on the plog. How is Eat the Menu going? It's good. I, I've had a lot, and I'm very full. I just had the chicken marsala. It was pretty good if you like chicken marsala. Is this food you've... This is what you have to eat. Yeah. There are uh, five gigantic entrees and a sixth entree that it looks like you haven't even touched. I did have a bite. Is it chicken marsala? Is, is marsala dairy? No. This looks amazing. Right, I bet you there's butter in it. That okay. I promise you there's butter in just it. In everything? But it's not cream. Mm. Do you mind if I just get a little taste? What's Go been on, <laughs> hey, just dance around the table, man. <laughs> What's been your favorite thing you've had so far, Keith? And also, are you putting chicken Keith's chicken sauce on the what is that? <laughs> mushroom linguine? It's chicken marsala. Chicken marsala. Farfala. Open your ear you holes, idiot. bro. <laughs> well, no, you said farfal. Linguine. Do you mean farfal? Farfala. 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 La, I la, am la, very la, nice, la, Keith. La, la. They just call it bow tie pasta here. I'm chopping we need to keep the chicken. We need to keep shooting yeah, we my video, too. Hey, man, you're the okay. one holding us up. Yeah. All right, here we go, right. Keith. Um, let's try this one. This is the chicken. Oh. This is another chicken with bacon. Oh, I'm looking at the bacon, and it's looking really nice, Keith. Some of these look like... Um, you better hurry up before they can chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the... So this is a really nice eat the menu behind the scenes where Keith doesn't know everything. Chicken and he's Riesling. asking producers off wine. screen. I thought she said chicken raisin. The chicken Riesling. That's uh, it. And I'm going to go ahead and give a little helicopter airplane woo Aww. to Mr. Miles B. Oh. <laughs> you hit my tooth. Uh, yeah, it was a little too big of a piece. Mm. Keith, I see where you like that. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting peanut butter. No, you're not. I'm getting a no from the chef. <laughs> Notes of nut butter drown the farfall. We're what? on to the next dish. Okay, okay. Yeah. chicken Riesling. Ooh, Keith's holding my finger. He took a nice big bite. Oh, so cute. And he's eating it. It looks like he's surprised by the taste. It tastes like Riesling. Ooh. It does? Kind of. It tastes like a sweet wine flavor. Now, Tate, talk to me about Riesling. It's a wine. It's a white wine. It's that's sweet. All, that's as far as I can go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> now, in, in Eat the Menu, uh, rarity is that we have representatives here from the restaurant. I believe that's mm -hmm. that table over there. And we're at the restaurant. We're at the that's restaurant. That's also a rarity. Yeah, and it is rare. As are my friends. <laughs> Hello, chefs. Uh, Those hello. are my girls. Yes, Thank you, chef. chef. <laughs> and what I like is as you were describing the flavor, they just had like a, a nod, like a nice stern, like, yes, mm. there is Riesling. Yeah. Don't you taste the wine? I actually do taste the wine, Keith. Yeah. It's got a supple note of grape. Mm. And the bacon is forefront, for paramount. Forefront. Paramount. Now, here's a question. Are the chefs aware that we have recorded secret videos in these two booths at <gasps> multiple locations? Booth. Actually, yeah, your guys' little your little naked escapade is what got us this opportunity to begin with. It's unbelievable to me. <laughs> that is so interesting. <laughs> yeah, Miles and I, uh, we ate in body pain here. And there were some, you know, most people loved it. I would say it was a, a 99 <laughs> out of 100 success. But Wait. the factory pers endorses it. They loved it. They the, want more of it. The Tony's Pizza. That's a pizza? No, but doesn't it look like the frozen Tony's pizza to you? It does. It, you what, what am I looking at? Is this chicken? I assume it's chicken. It's but chicken that has been... It's a chicken frisbee of sorts. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. We actually have to hear the, cr the actual name. It's chicken pizza. Yeah, it's chicken parmesan pizza style. Pizza style. Ch chicken parmesan pizza style. And my favorite way to have pizza with a glob of pasta on it. Of course. <laughs> this is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. This is a... Chicken cutlet that has been mashed <laughs> oh into a giant circle wow. to yeah. look like a pizza, and then it is dressed like a pizza. And then they said, "Let's put a mound of pasta on top." This looks incredible. The chicken pizza, John. <laughs> Keith, you doing okay? Yeah, Keith, how you feel? Yes. Keith, Keith's energy is sort of uh, full. Oh, oh okay. my. And I'm getting that close up in 4K because I'm, si I'm <laughs> inches from his mouth. <laughs> I'll say this. Does the cheesecake also come pizza style? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> it does taste like pizza. What percentage through the video are we at this point? 80. This is the second to last section. 
85 minutes in. Oh, second wow. to last. Penultimate. Penultimate section. Mm. Now, how does this, how does the cheesecake high compare to, say, your uh, recreational? <laughs> right. A recreational high is different because it doesn't hurt my body <laughs> as much. Normally, it also doesn't make me have to poop for 15 minutes either. Did you have to poop? Did That's you just delicious. go poop? And now you have to poop again? Okay. Because you did it. But you will again. You had to poop at the top? Yeah, Keith <laughs> is nodding yes, no, and yes for those keeping track. No, you track had to poop it. at the top oh. of the video? No. Oh, the middle and the bend. Minutes ago. That's uh, when you left to go to the bathroom? That's awesome, man. <laughs> While you're recording Eat the Menu, we are in the middle of a podcast. So what is your take on uh, Timote and Kylie? They're together? That's right, Keith. No. What do you mean you missed that? They're making out everywhere. Beyonce. I know. I know. My TikTok algorithm is like the U.S. Open. Is like people like like is, my TikTok isn't yours. I think this is sort of a to all the boys I love before situation where they're fake dating. And then they're gonna really fall in love. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Move I, over, Brangelina. It's time for Tim Lee. Tim Lee is. And Miles just coined that. Kyla Fee. <laughs> Kyla Fee. I, I think that he's on strike, and then his school's gonna come back in session. He's like. I got to focus on my grades, which is for him is Oscars. I kind of like having a microphone on this show. It's fun. Yeah. Keith, you know that art installation that is the like dipper and it's kind of moving the oil from every part? That's kind of what you're like in a lot of ways right now on this show. It's a sad exhibit, isn't it? Rainy is going for a bite of the chicken pizza. Mostly because I'm hungry. Yeah. You can eat as much as you like. The chicken piccata. Hey. I thought something else earlier was the chicken piccata, but it was the chicken costellata. What do you think, Rainy? If you, if this could be a grain-free, like, pizza, because it kind of tastes like bread. Well, it's chicken. But it's chicken, so it's like high-protein bread. There is breading on it. It's like protein pizza. Mm -hmm. In a way, chicken is grain-free pizza. (laughs) Normally, chicken or grain bread. (laughs) That's interesting. If the animal eats it, is it grain-free? Oh. The chicken piccata. The chicken piccata. Chicken piccata, baby. (laughs) <laughs> You're doing an Inagata Davina reference. Chicken piccata beat, uh, baby. Very hip. I'll say that the lemon present Keith is blowing my dick off. The chicken piccata is a pick of the litter. Pick out of the litter. It's good. It's good, but it's rich and creamy, and the pasta feels good. Let me, I want to oh touch. Oh my god. It's nice. Ooh. I mean, you guys are touching the pasta like it's finger food. Yeah. And that's what? interesting to me. Any food is a finger if you finger it. Oh, my fingers are going oh, in. Keith. <laughs> Keith is getting a little bit. Oh my gosh, Keith. Keith that is so. Keith. It's actually not gross. I'm blaming this on the podcast. <laughs> Sorry, Keith is fingering the pasta, and you're we're the jerk? Well, he's. <laughs> Next up. Oh my god, this looks incredible. This is chicken parmesan normal style. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Rainy, there's some really good capers on there. Oh, I love the caper, by the way. Did you know it's a berry? <laughs> you should try the spaghetti. It's best enjoyed with no, your fingers. No, I'm, I'm not touching the spaghetti. <laughs> it's three fingers good. <laughs> I can smell the previous course. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try a big old bite of spaghetti, everybody. <laughs> In a white shirt. Oh, my God. What's he, kind he of just, amazing that yeah, you don't get to see in a normal eat the menu is the looks of disgust off camera. Everyone is is <laughs> grossed out from Keith. I would say for Keith, you know, like Jack, what's going through your mind right now? You have to listen to all these sounds. Yeah. Stimulus overload. Yeah. Stimulus overload. I'll also say typically when I've been <laughs> typically when I'm a guest on this show, I'm looking at the food outward at the camera, but because we're doing the podcast, I'm staring right at Keith's mouth. I think this spaghetti has butter on it, and then they put on pasta sauce. Taste it. Let me. Uh, Somebody let me, taste it. I'm getting Bring in there, Keith. Around man. the world. Tell me if you think menu. it has butter and pasta sauce. So, Kaylin, you're here behind the scenes of Eat the Menu, and uh, your role today is what? I take pictures and videos and giggle. And you've been interviewing all of our special guests, lots of cool people. Yes. Who have you met? Cool Who have you met, Kaylin? Um, I met uh, a dancing, oh, somebody that choreographed for Blackpink. That was big for me. Kyle Hanagami. Oh, I missed him. Oh. He was really nice. I've been asking them all to give encouraging words to Keith. That's been sweet. Very cool. Very cool. And let's go over here. We're going to interview producer Desiree Hurlbut. 
Desiree, you had to go through it's the unclear. entire it's menu. Like, do we just mute uh, his mic? I, well, <laughs> like in I the think final that, edit, do we just mute his mic? And it's hard for I think we need know. your guys' mic. I'm do. I'm over here doing He's investigative doing sort of, journalism. Yeah, what kind scenes. of investigation People, are you doing? People want to know what it's like behind the scenes that eat the menu. I think that they are. Aware. I think this chicken Romano is pretty good. So you had to go through the entire menu and organize it. What was that process like for you? It was hard. It was a lot of reading. It was a lot of organizing. Um, it took like an entire work day to go through it. God damn. And how do you feel like the shoot is going so far? Well, it was great, but the podcast has really made things chaotic. I have no idea what's going on. I'm supposed to be watching what's going on, but I'm talking to you. Well, awesome. We're going to let you back to it. Can't wait to see the final product. Thank you so much, Desiree. And Zach is returning to the fold. Uh, the chicken Bellagio. Yes. Keith, go ahead and say it with a cute face. The chicken Bellagio. Oh, Keith. That kind of looks like a brain with a brainstem coming out of it, like a flat brain. Oh, flat brain, 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 flat brain. I'm here with the cheesecake factory ready to eat. The chicken Bellagio is what I'm here for. Flat brain, flat brain, flat brain, flat brain. Prosciutto. I'm curious about the prosciutto. Did you know that when I was a little kid, I thought prosciutto made me sleepy. I thought I was allergic because I fell asleep at Macaroni Grill on my birthday. <laughs> and my parents were like, you must be allergic in a way that it makes you <laughs> go to sleep immediately. And the next day I was like, I feel pretty tired after having the leftovers. And for years I thought I was allergic to prosciutto and that it made me have to go to sleep. <laughs> the chicken Bellagio. Wow, that was a big bite. The Keith is not messing around. Very good. The prosciutto is really good, no? It's salty. That's my favorite part about it. Keith, have you talked about like memories at the Cheesecake Factory yet? I don't have any. You don't have any? You never went? This is his third time here, and the second time was last video. Oh, wow. That was too big a bite. Yeah, it was a huge bite, bro. You're still chewing. Have you ever choked on Eat the Menu? Almost once. Really? Mm -hmm. From what What was the, I guess you can't say. I don't remember. I was just eating and I I, I was trying to talk and be hilarious. <laughs> and I inhaled and then I like for a moment I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. But I got it out and no one even knew. Wow. Secret That's joke. That's scary. It might have been Jack in the Box. You know, most people die from choking because they're embarrassed. The yeah. Much cool yeah. No. <laughs> no, if you're choking, it, it, don't go to the bathroom. It is kind of embarrassing. Because it's like, oh my God, my yeah. throat's so thin. I'm such a tiny throated girl. <laughs> or a boy. Oh my God. <laughs> and when you keep coughing and you're like interrupting people. You can't cough like... when you're choking. Fun fact. Oh. Really? Is that true? The air is blocked. You can't make any noise. That's how you know. Oh. If you're ever worried about someone choking, if they're making sound, they're not. <laughs> if they're not making sound, <laughs> they are. Because oh. you, you can't breathe, you can't generate sound. So someone's like, help, I'm choking. They're not no, choking. Could you choking. start choking or start coughing and then later choke? Like, start, start, like, you is cough, that. You cough, Or is it like, it? if they're coughing, don't worry about it. It's just a 10 minute or thi thing. Well, I think if you were to, <laughs> if you coughed and then you started choking, I'd be confused as to how your coughs work. Because, oh, they're not effective. Right, because coughs shoot forward. Well, maybe yeah. it shoots it forward and then it. Falls it ricochets back off down. the back of your teeth yeah. and right back into your throat. If I had this when I was seven years old, I think it'd be the best thing I had had in your yeah. life. I would be like, "Holy shit!" I mean, it's one of the best things I've had now. It's good. But I just mean it's like it's like primed up. There's chicken. You're there's screaming. pesto. Screaming. Yeah. Miles is screaming. Most people, when they get on a microphone, <laughs> they get quieter, but not him. How many He's espresso screaming. martinis? Say he has had a lot of espresso. No, I haven't. They keep taking it away and giving Drunk me a on new the job. One. Yeah, okay. I'm a freelancer. Let's get another round of the <laughs> <laughs> espresso martinis. <laughs> Come to the table. Well, guys, thanks for coming on the show, I guess. Um, what hey, thank you so much for joining us on the plug. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Yeah, I want to say check out the Eat Them and You Cheesecake Factory three-part Super Bowl extravaganza coming on Saturdays this October. I, I liked it when that. you said it, though. I was like, that's going to get turned. That's going to convert people. I think so. All right, well, we're just going to um, – you keep doing your thing. We're going to get out of here. Okay. We're going to take all our courts. Hey, Keith, I want to say I really appreciate you lending some of the food to us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you were here. You helped out, I think. Thanks for joining the plug. Every week we go on a fun adventure, 
out into the world and we podcast the experience. Join us over on the plug. Uh, the tripod is what it's called. We nailed it. Um, okay, should we get um, some coffee? <laughs> Three, two, two one. Oh, uh, wow. Guys, woo. we freaking crushed that. Now, here's what I'll say. Never before at 11 o'clock have we been full, so full of pasta. Well, we, I guess collectively, we, yes. Did I, you, well, you had almost no food. I I would say correct on the almost, I had none. You had no food. I didn't was it have because a bite. of the butter of it all? The butter and the cream of it all. And you said, you I was know there what? for the vibes. You looked at the podcast listeners and you said, you're not worth it to me. You're not worth diarrhea to me. Well, and I look, and I, I'll say this. Mm, they're mm. Worth, and I'll say this to everyone out listening out there. You're worth a diarrhea to me. <laughs> and I think Will would be happy to house your diarrhea. That's a great point. That's Stay tuned. Really Next episode, point. we're going to you're Mr. Gonna, Will Whitworth's home. You're not going to want to use that bathroom. <laughs> I'll, s- I'll just, I'm going to say right now. I, I would think tread that- lightly on what you sit down on. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I think we are maybe the best guest that he's ever had. Um, I also <laughs> think that we brought the viewers behind the scenes to what uh, uh, an Eat the Menu shoot is like. Um, I think we are going to have to mute your guys' mics for a lot of it. Yeah, that's so interesting you said that because Rainy and I were sort of like, hmm, yeah. how do we cut this together? And by yeah. we, I mean Rainy because I'm not <laughs> doing any cutting because I don't do that anymore. Yeah. I just show up on the day. <laughs> Fart out of podcast and go home early. Welcome to my world. That's right. Hey, hey you, you own the company. Yeah. Technically, you do have a full time job, but not the way you do it, baby. I know. No, I actually I feel do. like you I, work. I feel like you work yeah. way more than full time. I work too much. You wake up grinding emails, grinding crypto. Grind. <laughs> <laughs> you know These coins ain't going to mine themselves, That's baby. Right. Waking up and then being like, let me check my phone. And then there's a work email. And then I'm like, oh, I have to deal with that. And then I'm just awake. You know, I, yeah, it's like, I, like I, no I snooze, it. no snooze. It, yeah. So we, we yeah. recently, uh, within the last year and a half, year, I don't know, we, we got Try Guys emails for everybody. Really confusing to do after four years. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well, we had, been, <laughs> we had been talking about it for a while and it just didn't happen. Yeah. Um, but my hope with that is that it allows you to not check, you know, I, I always yeah. feel a lot of guilt sending an email on the weekend, mm. but it's also like weekend is when I can do work. Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Cause you're like, oh, I'm not busy with shoots or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. So, like on Saturday, I, you know, I put in, I don't know, six hours, six hour day of like doing notes, sending emails. And sometimes I'll remember to, to do, press that button where it yeah. doesn't send till Monday morning. Mm. But I also sometimes just write, like, don't read this yeah. yet. Yeah, but I know it's hard. You get an email and then you read yeah. it. I, it's uh, I don't really know what the answer is. No, I also send those texts where it's like, hey, I know this is seven p.m. Yeah, so don't, don't respond. respond until I just don't want to forget. Yeah, right. That's to you me know? the subtext of anything yeah. I send that's late. It's like don't respond to this because I'm just doing it now so I don't forget. Yeah, yeah. and and I think it's up. You know, look, <laughs> each person can have their own personal boundaries, and some people like. It, maybe you and I like working at night and that's no, when we're sure. more productive yeah, and yeah. we're going to be less productive during the day. And so long as it's not, you know, if it's an issue, then we just talk about it. I, I hope we can operate that way. That's it's a little right. bit into the sauce of how we make our sauce. Yeah, a little I bit mean, into yeah. the sauce of emails and how they work. <laughs> you know, I know guys worth them all. And I'm just sort of opening my eyes. It's a it's, beautiful day. And beautiful it's a beautiful day, day out. And um, forgive us because there's absolutely copyrighted music playing <laughs> that you're going to hear just a <laughs> fraction of in the background. But not um, if we go la 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 la. Are you hearing it? I feel like I feel like we're not even hearing it. Let me let me get a little taste. Yeah, you get a taste of the copyright. Well, also after the noise gate, you're not even gonna hear any of it. So we're talking. Yo, no joke, can't even hear the music. That's what I like to hear, honestly. And whoa. What's up? You sound good. I do really do. I never get to listen through the headphones during the plug, and this is. Wow. I mean, if you want to and take responsibility for if there's any errors, I would actually love. (laughs) By the way, that's a really good idea. Rainy and I just chat like chums and Zach runs out. (laughs) Okay, hold on. Let me just check the levels. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, he's going on it. it. Miles is loud. Zach back on the sticks. Zach is in his element. I'm just going to turn Miles down all the way. (laughs) um, I had my first kiss at a mall. Like, I'm all meals oh, a lot to me. lucky. You know what I mean? It was at the movie Ocean's 13. Uh, Ocean, you waited all the way till 13. (laughs) <laughs> I was a late bloomer. No, I was in. Eight, it was the summer in between eighth grade and ninth grade. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I kind of was a late bloomer. Like I feel like wait, I mean, when was your first kiss? No, no, that 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 was it for me. Summer too. between eighth grade and ninth. No, yeah. I was nineteen. You were nineteen. Maybe I was eighteen. Well, no, hey, I was Randy. eighteen. I was eighteen. That's right. But I'm here to say, it's fine. That's right. I was everyone. so self conscious about it for a long time. Never too late. 
I mean, I was also subconscious late. about it. And I think it's just, it's a self-conscious thing when you're a kid. Yeah. And but you're like, okay, well, why is, like, is there something like, wrong with me? When is it going to happen for me? Why and it was me? like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I think it was for What's me? What's that? Was I was not actually a veil. And you I were, thought I was. I thought it was like, oh, I really want I really want a boyfriend. I really want a da da Yeah. But I think like the way I interacted, mm. I don't think they could tell. Interesting. Are we going to get us a little treat or what? Okay, we're so sitting sitting outside. Outside. Zach didn't want to hear about my first kiss. I'm a freelancer, Zach. I can give the salacious details of me at 13 <laughs> smooching in a phone photo booth. Oh, Not so it wasn't movie. at the movie. It was, well, no. So here's what happened. It's just hard to listen to you when I haven't had my little chai. Honestly, now that you say chai, I think a chai to stay... I tried to stay. Really nice. Oh, we could even do a ceramic mug this time. We, that's what I'm saying, gang. There's we, no way. Though. Do you think they do ceramics? We always go to go, <laughs> and we are sitting outside of the Nordstrom E Bar. What does the E you stand know, for? Also, yeah. Could be anything. Incredible. You know what? I also say my high school girlfriend. Her favorite restaurant. Enough about her. Max <laughs> <laughs> getting jealous. No, but this was a different girlfriend because uh, at this point I was what 15. <laughs> And her favorite restaurant was in the Nordstrom. Ooh, what? Underrated. Nordstrom has like a really good restaurant yeah, that has a good really salad. Yeah, it's really good actually. Yeah, it's really? actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Does it's this an one have it? Underrated king. Um, I think it might. I'm not even hungry anymore, but we I would We should eat a definitely salad. get a salad with a Parmesan crisp because <laughs> that's what's going on at Nordstrom. That was my her favorite salad. Wow. Zach, did you have a girlfriend in high school? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. had a slew of them, he said. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're always no, having I, a girlfriend. I, I, no, I went. That was the, and you I, were the I've point dated. guard on the basketball team. Too, uh-huh. right? <laughs> well, I had this. It was really interesting, actually, in high school because I was the star basketball player, but I secretly was also a really good singer. Oh, that's interesting. And so I yeah. auditioned for right, the musical. The musical mm-hmm. um, and it kind of created this rift where the, yeah. there was the. Uh, uh, the kind of go-to star of the musical, sure. and she got really jealous that this girl I met during karaoke. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's like uh, simply long over yeah, Christmas. Christmas. Like, people have already caught what it was, and then it kept going. Yeah, and, and my best friend turned to me and okay. said, yeah. "Zach, you gotta get, get your, your head, head in the, the game. game. Yeah, you gotta get your get your head in the game. I wonder who composed game. that musical because th- that song carried it. Those whole songs. All I agree. Yeah, I'll say that they're amazing. So in terms of the treat. Now, do you, you want to try la, uh, iced? Hot. Oh, my I'm my. I'm considering hot, but I think I'm going to go iced chai. Iced chai, chai, for sure. This is like the order that I got when I was too scared to get coffee when I was a child. Yeah. And I'd say, I'd like the coffee shop ambiance, but I'm actually going to go iced chai. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking which is around us and I'm seeing <laughs> only paper cups and I am. Well, concerns. Do you think that you, there's no way they're going to give you ice to stay? It's going to be a pint glass. It's going to shatter on the bricks yeah. of the Americana. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, Zach, I do think either way it will be okay. Not but for maybe Zach. not ideal. He's going to throw a little hissy fit. <laughs> Look at him. He's sitting there all lounging. He's, he he's garbling. It's, it's yeah. sizzling. He's, he's coming to the brink. He is primed. Here's the thing you viewers don't get to see at home. I'm a diva. That's right. And I, if if I don't get my way, yeah. I make it hell for the people around me. <laughs> Jeez, Jesus. I make it a living fucking hell. If I don't have a pint yeah. glass, you're going to, by the way, I do want to go. The Barnes & Noble also brings me back. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of things about the mall that are very um, nostalgia triggering for me. You you all have heard the thing that barn, that bookstores make people poop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a, there's a word for it. There's a Japanese word for it. Yeah. Because it's a phenomenon that bookstores make you have to take a dump. And people don't know if it's the smell of the books or the it's psychosomatic. Quiet. Oh, you think it's the sound. The silence. The silence the makes the poo poo crawl on out. You know what I'll say, too? I was the kid. If you've ever seen a child at the Barnes and Noble. I haven't. If you've ever seen a child or at the Barnes and Noble or the Walden books or the Borders books, yeah. R.I.P., on uh, their tummy reading a little manga, <laughs> that boy was me. And you see yourself in them? No, I was that kid. I was in the Walden books on my tummy. On reading his tum-tum. Tum. Not buying the books. On my tummy, my mom's oh, in yeah. JCPenney doing who God knows what. Yeah. And I'm in the Walden books and I'm on my tummy and I'm reading just slews of manga. Oh, manga. yeah. But I'm yeah. in the Albertson reading J14. You're in the Albertsons, the grocery store? Yeah. Reading what? J14. Oh, by the way, the magazine section was also... It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could catch me in the magazine section of the grocery store And as well. finding out what's going on with Liam Payne. Yeah, like, what's his vibe? And at the vibe? time, he was all the rage, but no longer. I'll say this. You could catch me reading manga in the grocery store because there was a manga named Shonen Jump, 
and it was a subscription-based manga that you would get, and it was chapters, like two chapters. From, oh, you could buy per chapter. No, 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 it would be like okay, so it's like the this anthology every month you'd get it, and it was one chapter from like ten different things, so you could read them like and mm. follow along week by week. There's new things. Oh. And I would read that and the Food Lion in North Carolina. The food Lion. What is the Food Lion? There's a grocery store. Oh, oh, got it. Food Lion. Roger. Food Lion. All right, so hot ice chai. chai. Ice, ice chai. Hot Those, chai. That's right. Oat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, mine's got to be whole. Yeah. Ooh. you got to go whole. It's going to be the iced whole. And then we'll see what I get. I got to look as at large the as possible and get some merch in there because it's on the company, right? So just get some like merch, <laughs> some yeah. mugs, some Are you books. going on our behalf, Rainy? Oh my I God. think it's my turn, actually. Okay, I think so. I think rotation-wise. Rotation-wise, it would be okay, Rainy's cool. turn. I'm having a great time with these headphones. Yeah, that's interesting. Really? I'm Dude. loving listening. We've been talking about this on... We talked about this on The Perfect Person, because you were on my podcast, and I you... I haven't heard of it. You haven't heard of it. You said that, because uh, you don't listen to yourself now, how do you feel it's changing you currently to be on the plug listening to yourself? I think that when you are able to hear yourself, it does chill your energy. Yeah, it does. Um, because you don't want to be screaming in your own ear. Yeah, you want to be sort of a cool, chill guy that's talking like, uh, oh, what? I'm a little scholar. Short and stout. And Here's short my and handle. Stout. Here's my handle. Here's, Here's my, my spout. spout. I am uh, feeling like nothing matters in a very beautiful, blissful way. A nihilism for the girlies. Ni- a little nihilism <laughs> as a treat. Yeah, I guess it is. What I'm just. I'm. I'm sitting here in the mall and the the shrine of capitalism but i'm i it's perfectly manicured and i like it you know there's something about we're at the americana it's a very artificial locale yes and it's artificial in a way that it's working for me it's sort of italian but only by design not oh, wait does it yeah does it not feel like we're in a little italian no, it village does, i think that's how it's meant it's meant and, to feel like a little italian village and like not to talk Which about I think it but we're like, surrounded also, almost exclusively by old italian men yes that, and, uh, no, that's and, also it which and, is sort of odd yeah i'm very confused <laughs> and actually frank sinatra's playing in the background no i think that that's also part of it what is happening here but i, I there's a comfort to it that really does it's like oh yeah like this we could be in freaking Milan. Tuscany. Tuscany. I said Milan, but it could be Tuscany. I don't know the difference. Have you ever been? Uh, no. I've been several times. Wow, are you Italian? No. Monsignor is actually American. <laughs> I made it up. But I, I think that that's the comfort of them all like this. It's also, it feels like a place that you could just come at 9 a.m. and be here all day, see a movie, get a lunch. Go to the Toomey store. Go to the store. Apple store, go to the Toomey <laughs> What does Toomey sell? Uh, is it bags? Bags, maybe? You can catch me at the Toomey buying a hamburger. Catch me at the Toomey on my stomach reading manga. <laughs> catch me at the Toomey on my stomach reading the manual to my roller bag. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, obviously we could do plug at Toomey. I'd guess it. <laughs> that would go nuts. <laughs> oh my god. Such, Toomey has such a widespread audience. Well, I, here's the thing, though, is that I feel like we have to save that. Podcast for Toomey has to be 2029. That's that's like, people are going to be like, what more can they do? They don't uh, got it anymore. And I then mean, it's podcast at Toomey and people go, oh, fuck. We have they got of, it. We've made a home for ourselves in Burbank. But I think coming on down here to Glendale and doing a one by one at the mall does seem nice. Huge news. What? I just got invited to Pickleball. Pickleball? Are you nervous? No. Because if I'm, I'm ne- you, I'm nervous about playing Pickleball. Here's the thing is that... Wait, what? (laughs) (laughs) I could take you. In pickleball? Oh, yeah. You probably could take me in pickleball. Yeah, because I've played three times. You have? Yeah. And how did you feel afterwards? You felt Uh, good about the situation? Yeah, I mean, I have to, like, ice my achy little body. Pickleball is sort of one of those sports you can play as an old man, though, right? Right, that seems to be the appeal. Less running. Less running. It's mostly just like, I got to hit this fucking thing. You hit it against the... Is it the room with... Am I thinking of squash? It's a white room. You're thinking of squash. Pickleball squash is... Squash is intense. Tennis of the little ball. Little... Well, bigger ball. Bigger ball. Bigger. Bigger ball, different... Uh, smaller paddle. What do you feel like... Is it like ping pong or like badminton? Bigger. Bigger than ping pong. Bigger than ping pong. Bigger than badminton? Yeah, comparable. Same size as badminton, but it's Maybe not a little a, bigger. It's not a shuttle cock. It's a... Um, it's a... It's a... Ball. Cocky ball. The cock and ball. It's a cock shuttle. I mean, I am interested in... Me and my friends have been recently saying, like, we'd love to play pickup basketball because I think that... You'll wreck your knees. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I'm actually at the point where... You're going to get an injury that that it takes you... I welcome it. ...four times as long to recover from than it should. 
That is what, okay, okay. Here's the thing that I actually was thinking about. Yeah. We teach all of our kids these sports. Uh huh. That'll wreck their but knees. But then they can't play as they get older. Like like we were talking with Elliot at your party. Yeah. Uh uh he's one of our editors. And My birthday party's that game. I came to your birthday That's party. Cool. Of course I, I came. Game. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I got an invite, of course. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you came. I got a show. Yeah. You know, I gotta make an appearance. That's right. Give the gotta, people what they want. Gotta, you know, <laughs> you're signing autographs. I gotta show the tabloids. <laughs> you walked up to a group of friends who didn't know who you were, and you were like, "All right, autographs, come on." Wait, by the way, there was someone at your party who was drunk. Who I don't know if they knew you, and they were like laughing in the hall, like realizing Try Guys. What? I like heard them. They'd be like, "Oh, Try Guys." And I'm like, get the fuck out. Like, Wait, they didn't know who you're I was? You're on our turf, bro. That's so funny. Yeah. Who was it? Well, I don't know. I don't know them. It was probably like a friend of a friend. It's who supposed was to like, be a safe space. That's damn right. So you were at my party. You were talking to Elliot. And he used to play soccer. Yeah. And loved it. Yeah. But you can't play soccer as a as a man. I thought he still played. No? No. Because oh. if you play soccer now, you're going to get fucked up. That's why you got to get into VR soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking your walls so hard accidentally. There was a, um, you know, there was that charity match where all sorts of YouTubers, like Mr. Beast, I saw him got get slide tackled. And if I'm him, can't think of anything no. less Although desirable. He's buff now. Well, yeah, he's got he's on that Zuckerberg plan. No, Mr. Beast was literally like, I feel nothing because I am the most one of the most powerful twenty somethings in the world. I'm now going to get buff because there's no other choice for me. Which I think is like at that point. That's why like Elon Musk or whatever does jujitsu. Like, fuck you, him. But when, you're gonna fuck him? No, I'm not. I you would, did you just say I would fuck him? Never in a million years would I let him kiss me, let alone touch me. So no kissing. No kissing. No it's purely sexual. <gasps> God damn it! Rainy. This is gonna be whole. Now this is gonna be a disaster if you mess up the whole versus the oat. This I is whole. Rainy is back. Uh, the drinks look incredible. That said, just for the record, I know y'all at home wanted to know. They are not in little porcelain cups. Unfortunately, they're not in... Well, iced in a porcelain? You get out of your mind? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an ice in a porcelain. I've seen an ice in a glass. I'm going to wait to take a sip, even though it's really tempting for me. But what were you talking about? Yeah, they all do like crazy fucking action sports and karate. Literally, Mark Zuckerberg is like a black belt. That's our gal, Rainy they feel Tull. They're just like, I have to be buff now. I'm so rich that I have no choice but to like do something else. What's it going to take for you to put, uh, put on a couple LBs? When are you going to start? Me? Yeah. Well, now that I, yeah, I mean, I have thought about it because I'm like, all right, look, I'm a, I'm a small business owner now. I have my, I run my own schedule. You could, what if I get crazy ripped? You could just oh, become yeah. a fitness channel. That's a horrible idea. I don't have the patience to be truly buff, but I do probably have the patience to oh, be shit, like a guys. little bit more. Guys, 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 guys. A little bit more no, just shape. everyone be fucking cool. Just like, so I think is, I have. Guys. Yeah, no, being, yeah. Being fucking cool. Okay, so uh, one security guard just walked by and another is walking by. Now they're going to say, hey, are you guys allowed to film here? And we're going to say, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, okay, he's walking the by. The at the he's walking factory. by, <laughs> and he walked by. Guys, this is interesting. We sort of just we fucking did it. I can't believe that we just kind of got away. And he didn't even look back. There, we just had. But a, he did do a lap. No, they're, no, they're too different. We had a oh. double pass by. They're just oh. nervous because they think we're only doing audio. Mm-hmm. When we when we <laughs> lie we when we lie at IKEA and we say we're just recording audio and it's on the recording on the record. <laughs> Is that fine to do? I am worried, worried yeah, about like, stuff like that. Let's bring. What if we? What if we bring this to the Supreme Court? Well, no, it's not that. I'm just worried that one day I decide to run for office. Freedom, and it's and like they, we're just like, recording well, audio. She lied, yeah, and that's you can right. see it, or just Rainey. be like say something crazy. Rainy, no one with a podcast can run for office. Do you think that you have a chance <laughs> have, to run for office now? After you talked said, exclusively about so many things on the podcast, <laughs> we have said so much dumb shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's. You, you think can I gotta just I gotta close that dream? Or what if my husband runs and it's like, well, his wife? But that's okay, I think that's Charlie. Fine. That's fine. I mean, honestly, I think you could run. You just have to run as a Republican. <laughs> What's a part? They don't of even care. They don't even care what you say. They'd be uh, like, true. fucking yeah, Rainy's going off. Like, <laughs> okay, she's <laughs> talking about like. <laughs> I did once upon a time think that later in life maybe I would want to get into politics. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I can see you actually what was being the, very um, good at that. What was your th this was like a couple years ago. It was like in the really? middle of my Try Guys career because we like to do a lot with. Shit that matters, you know. There's mm -hmm. a lot of issues that yeah, actually, definitely. yeah. What's what's up next for shit that matters video? Uh, good that's question. A great question. Okay, the third person's coming, and so. Oh no! Hey, what's up? Hi. Uh,